Dice Shakers Podcast, Vince on No Madness, Boogie Brad, Funny Man Joey, what the fuck going on? DJ, Q in the building. Uh-huh. We here Sunday, November 22nd, 2020. The weekend has been historic, mm. musically. Okay. Tell and we're talking about the versus battle, versus TV. Tell that it. just occurred. Tell it, tell it. Gucci, Guwap Main mm-hmm. versus Young Snowman Jeezy. Big Snow. La Flair. Hey. Gucci Man La Flair, <laughs> nigga. La Flair, nigga. That's his name. Atlanta shit. Did numbers. <laughs> Record numbers. I like it like that. And um, I was tuned in. And I was pretty much hypnotized by that shit going on. I couldn't look away. It's funny, you said hypnotized. You were hypnotized. Hey, that's what he ain't even do. Both of them had shit. They could have. That shit. People had a million views in there before they came on the stage. Before they started. Before they started. That shit was going up as you look. Every minute. Every minute she was going up. That shit was crazy. Motherfuckers just waiting. And, you know. The the music of it, we knew we we knew what to expect from the music of it, but that shit was a real uh, moment mm-hmm. of 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 really of progression and um, of growth. Yes, sir. And um, I I if I was there, I might have shed a tear. Yeah, but at but, the end of that shit. But you know what I got out of that shit though? An ignorant mind be like. Gucci man won it or Jeezy won it. But the yeah. whole main thing perfect was the city won it. The city won and the culture and, won. The culture. And the culture won and if, if they can stop their beef on T V, that yeah. means y'all young niggas can stop y'all beef too. Yep. You know what I mean? The culture but, won. But these folks sent some people, it was some shit that occurred, went down like real serious that a lot not a lot no man can come back from. You know what I mean? No friendship, no cool no none of that shit can go and, when, and when I say the culture, I mean the culture of black people, yeah. not just hip hop. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. hip hop, but I'm talking about the culture of black people. Yeah, we can show that we can squash some shit. We can come to a level. We all getting money. Yeah, we can agree to a disagree. Yeah, yeah. It would not have to be anything. No altercations. Yeah, and not at all. Yeah, you know what I mean. No altercation. And the crazy thing about it though, man, like folk went crazy for a second though. They went he crazy. was ready. He was ready for the shit. Yeah. Gucci wanted smoke for a minute. But he realized this is not what we're here for. But Gucci wanted energy though. He, he, the he, energy of it, yeah. He wanted energy. Like his energy was on a whole nother level. Like they were like, we ready, we prepared. You know what I mean? Like you know we had saying? time for all this shit. Like yeah. I'm not gonna do this now. And for a minute, shit got intense, but that was necessary. That was part of the whole process. They had to get that shit out. It had to go there in order for it to be what it really was. And it was resolved with words. And Gucci recognized, I think he really listened to Jeezy at that point. I think that might have been the first time he ever really listened to Jeezy to what he was saying. Mm -hmm. Like, it's been a long time this world was going on, but it's shit different now. We're different. The shit's different. The situation is the past. It's over with. Um, but, and I commend Gucci because that's, Takes a lot. that could be an unforgivable offense. What occurred with them? Allegedly, yeah. I don't know what, yeah. alleg- what occurred with them, but the fact that he still took the means to make that situation right. And the bad with that too. And it was on a platform where it was good for his career as well as his life. The Both bad. of them. That they was won't. good for them in, in more than they one won't. avenue. Yeah, like yeah. that was good for them. I well, bet you they slept like uh, they slept very well that night yeah, after yeah. that shit. They both going up at this point. Yeah. Jesus already going up. That's why he had to get them come to realization about we have to let this shit go. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Gucci did the same thing because he going up too. Don't get it yeah. twisted. Gucci, Gucci going up, bro. All the way up. He going you know what up. I mean? He's going up. So and, and for them to do that shit, bro, it was amazing. And you know why Gucci did that shit? He did shit for his wife. 
Like, yeah. uh, she, she was type of person, like, she just want to get some money, stay positive, keep working out, keep getting his bread, and stay out the way, and get that shit behind us. Like, she want to look forward to a future, because she looking like she want to have a future with Gucci for a long time. And I respect that. Because sometimes your wife going to pull the book, and you're like, no, you know what, you let this shit slide. I understand. I truly understand. That was a fucked up situation, allegedly, whatever went down. Yeah. You know, whatever make you feel that way, just let this shit go and look forward to a future. 20 plus years ago. Yeah, 20 plus years ago, let this shit go. And, because that shit ain't easy. It ain't, it definitely ain't easy. That, that shit, shit ain't easy. Niggas that's talking about like it's nothing all nah, year, about time not, for that. Nah, that nah, ain't the case. Nah. That's some life altering shit. Yeah. That's not easy what he did. What if I died? I, you, I could, <laughs> it, it could have went it another been way. It wouldn't have been a verse. It could have went another way. Yeah. But, at the end of the day, we've all done things. Mm -hmm. So, when things are done to you, it looks different. Yeah. yeah. Then when you're doing, you know, you're the aggressor and you're the victim. It's two different points of views. Mm -hmm. But fuck all that. The situation, when it happened, it was wild. All this time, it's been a wild situation. And it's the fact that These two important entities of a culture, mm -hmm. bigger than hip hop, mm -hmm. they're black people. They're successful. Yeah, they're successful, and they came from nothing, like everybody else that loves them. Mm -hmm. Most people, they came from nothing, and they're successful, and that shit didn't have to be done. Yeah, but the fact that it was done, and the world got to see it. That's really a moment of Clarity. teaching, preaching, and gospel, really. Mm -hmm. That shit was so much bigger than that music and shit. Oh, yeah. Like, it was big. That's the only verses we've seen that has been bigger. That music had nothing to do with it. It was like real life situations. When they stepped in the same room together, that shit was yes. like, it, this is incredible. Yeah. And the fact, when they did So Icy at the End and the energy both of them niggas game off, yeah. I could have shared a tear, nigga. If I was there in the building, I might have shared a tear. Yeah. That's how that shit made me feel watching that shit. Cause it looked organic. It don't look like it was like... It was... That, like, I ain't both of them lit up. Both of them lit up. Because it, it went straight smiling. from... It, it definitely did. Because it, it went both from... Both of them lit up. It went from tense. It was tense right before that. Yeah. And then it ended up the that first, way. The first 20 minutes were tense. The first 20 minutes were tense. Because Gucci was coming at them, but... Well, he did... Jesus he, song, this... He, he did that the whole out, the whole. The That's whole what Gucci thing. was there for. Yeah, yeah. He was like, there. He was there for. You know Gucci what I mean? had Gucci already. Gucci had like three, four songs that he wanted y'all hit chest. He knew that wasn't his. He just wanted to be there to disrespect him. He was playing and heavy this one. Like, like get the music. You didn't hear for real. I know you heard it. But I know you heard it. Yeah, he but you gonna hear it. You gonna hear it live. And I'm watching you hearing my music. I'm saying about you. I'm calling you Snowflake. I'm calling you. That ain't your chain. That's your meet your chain. I'm gonna say it's in your face, and you gonna hear the lyrics too while I'm saying that shit in your face. Cause yeah. you you didn't really hear it when you heard it. Back then when it came out, you heard it, but you ain't listen. Now yeah. you listening now, cause I'm really in your face, and I'm and I'm spinning these bars at you. I say it to your face. Oh, let me see face. what you really on. Oh, oh, see what you really on. I'm really checking temperature with this shit. Dig your partner up like, for me. He went crazy. Gucci went crazy for a minute. For how I say he was like, he oh, was, shit. and he that's was, what people expected. Yeah, everybody expected that moment. But, it, it, but the fact that it didn't go where we thought it would go at that moment, yeah. it chilled out. It was a conversation. They had a conversation. They had a personal conversation in front of the whole world. I will say, do it throughout the music. It though. was a personal con That whole verses was a personal conversation in front of the whole world. And the great thing about it, one thing about both of them, they both says about their crap. That's why Gucci look like. Where your current hits at? Like the, the shit Gucci was playing, they were hits, but it like like it wasn't like his solo hit, yeah. but it was a hit. He was on the hit though. You can't you can't you can't negate that. He was on it's, the hook. I still got the I, music. Yeah, I still got the music. You know what I'm saying? I smoke to I drink, smoke to I. That's way bigger than Jesus' song. Current, what current Jesus' song? Ain't, Jesus ain't got a song that's hotter than that. Yeah, yeah, this way Lee boy. That when he first got out of yeah. shit too. And, and you and Jesus ain't had a song bigger than got down with Drake. When Drake, I don't know you need you now, go on right now, and I'm on the right. Man, he ain't had no Z, he had no, Jesus ain't had no song bigger than that. Jesus ain't had no song bigger than that. No, he, he haven't. He, de he definitely did. Gucci got the most current hit. Though I Gucci, I don't want to hear that old ass shit. Though I like, Gucci, Gucci came out dressing current. And he looked at Jesus like, wow, you dressed like 05. 
when you had all yeah. the niggas behind you backing you. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But, 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 but I, I, in there, no, but, go ahead. Nah, in there. Pick your shit. Talk that shit. In there, nigga. Who's the Jesus had that shit on 05, bro. Like, damn, but I think that was part. I think that was part of what he was Cost doing because yeah. he know he Jeezy know when he was off when he was at the top of the world. Yeah. It was around that time. Yeah. yeah. So, he so he just went with that swag like this. I can bust you with this time frame type shit. I think it was part of a. He hit him with one on one the whole time. That type of shit. Like I'm. This uh, is hit this him is one this, on one the whole time. He like this is where I'm at with it. I can just oh, be here and still. Get it done. I can but, get it done but, with just this time frame. But Gucci had a legit point. Like, well, where you coming here? Is that? Nah, nah, I'm for five minutes. Away. Say, I'm five minutes. What I do hits, man. Get what I think about it. for a street nigga. Everything ain't Gucci do. Goddamn nigga, nigga, fuck with. Gonna, gonna be real they do. Yeah, yeah. I love Gucci, bro. I ain't gonna. I, like, I fuck platinum. with Gucci. You know what? On some street yeah. shit. Yeah. You know that shit went platinum, man. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't yeah. Lock in like all that old number type shit, whatever the game goes. Gucci won't worry about number. He just worry about getting that shit off his chest. Well, and it was bigger than the music. It wasn't about the music. Was, yeah, exactly. about that the shit could have got done with no music involved yeah. at all. Exactly. It still would have had a purpose for, and we would have all watched it still. And, and it, Gucci won't because of the it's the effect of what. These two people have gone through a situation that they shouldn't even be in a room together on a cordial level. Now, nah. and they are. And the crazy thing like, about it, now since everybody they never really hear the, the song by Gucci Man Truth, now everybody can go back on YouTube, yeah, Spotify, yeah. Apple yeah, Music, yeah, and, go, yeah. and go check that and same pipe song. Pipe them up, bro. And, and pipe them up. The man even told what he is, the man bro. told you I got a ten thousand dollar outfit on, man. I, I, this is my opponent. It, it don't matter. Like he been, he been waiting to pop his shit. Nah. Put Jeezy in his face. He been waiting to do this because guess what? He look like I've been underdog. The whole city was down there against Gucci when BMF was out. Just, just they think, were. They just, were. Just keep it real. Nah. The whole, the Niggas whole city was the, the whole city was down there dissing no, Gucci were. man. Like nah. he retarded. He on no. drugs. Yeah. He lying. He sloppy. He ugly. Then that thing no home. Go to prison. Come back out. Got a boss bitch. Hey. Came back out, yeah, pawn them back out, yeah. And I own all my masters. Y'all don't own y'all masters. Y'all don't own and, y'all shit. I own and my shit. Aside from all that, <sighs> Gucci has single-handedly tailored the sound of hip-hop music <sighs> right now. Yeah. Everybody that's popping and successful right Can't now, Gucci, Gucci man has had a <laughs> hand in their fucking career. Two hands in. Two hands in. Now what niggas talking about? Not one hand. Two hands in. What niggas talking about? All the... Uh, so oh, Gucci Man and you know just you know what good time. You know I, I respect about Gucci Man and Soldier Boy. Gucci Man and Soldier Boy be like, I'm not gonna sign these nigga because you know as soon as I sign in, these don't these nigga don't do good. These nigga don't do good. Gonna say, hey, hey, oh you me. a fuck nigga? Hey, Why you popping? Why I ain't popping? No, no, I'm just gonna put y'all in the right place. I'm gonna do some shit with some real niggas. I feel like y'all real niggas. That's why I'm doing songs with y'all. I don't need the whole. I don't need the my A and R. I don't and the, the record label. Ah, oh, do this song. No, I fuck with you. I don't You're need. A real nigga. I don't need to hold your hand through this yeah. shit. All I gotta do is give you the look. So, so, Gucci, on, on. Gucci was, like Gucci need, was the look. He is a look. Gucci's the look. Yeah. Niggas just had that look with Gucci. He like, yeah. I gotta hand your hold your hand through this shit. You got it. Man. Gucci got shit. the Gucci got the aura of all niggas that came up down bad, came up. That's why Gucci fuck with every nigga that down was down and bad. Never changed who the fuck you was. Never changed who the fuck was. Just, just, and, just, and just like he's the real king of the drip shit. He signed everybody, bro. He got no, everything. I'm talking about drip, nigga. I ain't yeah. talking about drip, man. Go ahead. I ain't even tell a lot, man. Fuck, nigga, y'all LA got them put the niggas up on. Nah, man. Even type of swag. Get away. These niggas got them up kicking that swag the whole game. Yeah, young LA was. LA, he was. He he did do shit before. He was. Go throw them, go throw them, cop that way too. Ain't man. Go away. I'm talking about fuck. Yeah, he definitely did. I ain't gonna lie. It's about time for him. LA is important for a lot of shit, but he never had the. Gucci pants and all that. Them young niggas. Good, and, and that was going on like with the air about dressing. Joe that always is. been on that shit too. Though. He was waiting wait for the nigga. Joe, 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 Joe yeah. Joe, niggas, but niggas had, yeah. niggas. There are a lot of influencers in this shit. Yeah, but we talking about Gucci Man right now. Yeah, we he, talking about Gucci. Ice putting up. niggas, making sure so people, icy, making sure people icy. got in the game and stayed there. That what he on? Picking the right motherfucker. Young so icy. And two people. I, that who he is, and, bro. And two people that, that 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 Gucci man put on for real. Young Thug and Young Dolph. For a fact, 
He put them niggas on, definitely. Uh, and a lot no, it's it, it, a lot of niggas. It's I'm, a just, lot. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying, the mainstream niggas, you just say off top. You know what I mean? Yeah, he had a studio joint. You got to think about it. He, he had a studio about, he didn't let Gucci Man come in before, You got to think about Gucci Man and Young Dolph were doing mixtape back together, bro. They were doing mixtape back, you know what I'm saying, back together with each other, bro. You know what I'm saying? Gucci Man took a, took a chance on his name and his independency to fuck with regular niggas. He's a pioneer. He's a pioneer, bro. He's a pioneer. He's definitely a legend in Atlanta, bro. At the end of the day, you, you go pop, he can pop his shit and say, hey, you can say whatever you want about me. Yeah, yeah. But ask all these rappers who I just got on this song for free. Motocraft. You know what I'm saying? I got on that song for free. I ain't say, boy, you know I'm Gucci, man. Hey, boy, you know I'm beefing with Jeezy. Hey, man, you know I got I got hits on hits on top of it, man. Give me like 50000 Because, goddamn, you go to that fuck nigga up that street, they don't talk you a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real nigga. Ain't, ain't your shit ain't nigga gonna listen to your song because I'm on that bitch. And I got influence. Yeah, yeah, just like Boosie. Boosie the same nigga. Boosie and, and Boosie and Gucci, man, the same type people, bro. Yeah. And Soldier Boy. I ain't gonna go Soldier Boy, need Soldier Boy, too. He fuck with niggas, like, you know what, I feel, I feel y'all aura, I feel like y'all real niggas. If y'all trip me, then y'all trip me. But at, when I first met you, you showed me some real niggas shit, quality. I got it. And when I say I got it, I got it enough to give you some of it. And yeah. you'll have it too. Yeah, yeah. Just just being around certain motherfuckers will boost your status. Mm -hmm. Like, Gucci's that dude. That's who we know Gucci as. Gucci is, he is... Yeah, a a like damn Quavo. near responsible for the sound of music right now. The Quavo. sound of music. Quavo, like Eighty percent of niggas rapping right now, Gucci Man is their favorite rapper. Yep. Believe that shit. Yep. Of the new newer generation, the newer, yeah. Gucci is they their favorite they rapper. They're not gonna say. You see how Twenty One Seven was? You see Twenty One Seven on World Star? He ran with Guwop. Yeah, yeah. He was like, boy, boy, hey, what? What that? It, it couldn't have been me. What he said, hey, man, it couldn't have been me. Talking like that. Hey, all Stacey Abram, all hey, man. You think about it, when, when, when you call somebody your friend, your brother, and these your family, and a lot of shit, you just can't let it slide. Like, like nigga ain't like, what, what Gucci man did, disrespect that man. At the end of the day, I know the bigger picture. I know the bigger picture. Get the city back together. Cause we falling apart about little petty shit. And it, had, and it had, had to happen. Gucci had to do exactly and, what he and, did that night. He could have been in there on that cool yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, he yeah. had to be aggressive. Yeah. He had to let you know, I felt this shit, yeah. nigga. Yeah. This shit affected me. I can't sleep the shit that, that you're responsible for affected me, and I got to act accordingly. And we could be like that. After the fact, it could be whatever it is. Mm -hmm. After the fact. But that shit was the perfect balance of the resolution of the entire, situa entire situation. Yep. Gucci's approach was perfect. He was exactly who he was supposed to be. Mm. He was exactly who I expected him to be yeah, right there. He, yeah, yeah, he yeah, let yeah. you know. I'm not all the way good with it yet. He let you know. I'm still growing. He stood up the I'm whole time. I'm still working on it. I'm working on it. He stood up the whole time. Okay, yeah. He said that one time. I'm gonna sit him back That's the me. energy was, that was necessary to show the... The friction. The, the, the balances of the spectrum of it. The level. The Gucci Man the, showed The, the two Jeezy. different approaches. Gucci Man showed Jeezy like, well, I ain't appreciate that at all, bro. A phone call could have got mad. Anything. You that mad at me because I wanted my song and you had a big song with Akon? You got a big song with Akon. And for what I've heard over the years, Jeezy didn't even like the song. He did. He, he did. Wanted, wanted it popped off. That's yeah. what you know he why? wanted it. You know why? That, that's always going to cause friction. You know why? Like, because... Jesus like song because I got a song with Akon. I got this quadrillion million dollar man behind me. We got money. We balling. I got the same car. All these niggas who got way more money than me. In. Like I got a song with Akon. That that bullshit with Will. Mm -hmm. Man, they, with Gucci, it's like, all right, cool. I don't really care that shit. But when that shit start rolling, that shit start bringing momentum. Yeah. Cause but if, that's my song, bro. But that's my song, bro. Because if you felt oh, like Jesus, that, bro. if you felt like that, you should have never even done it. Exactly. So and don't. That's why, so once you do it, don't change your approach and, on it. And that's why. Because you did it. And that's why a lot of niggas with real mind went with Gucci Man on. That's Gucci Man's song, bro. That's Gucci Man's song. That's Gucci Man featuring you and Will. We it's really Gucci Man and Lil Will song, to be honest. I was in the club yeah, at that Jesus. time. I was in the club at that time. I never had known that to be Jeezy song. Facts. Like Gucci. Never known that. That was from day it got one. Bougie. It got bougie. Gucci Man song from it, day one. It got bougie Century when Jeezy started coming out with BMF and started making them more money than, than Gucci Man. It got bougie. Like, oh, that Jeezy song. Hey, no, I ain't gonna tell you that Jeezy song. It definitely hey, wasn't. It was. It got bougie when they started picking sides, man. Come on, man. 
Yeah. Shit, entertainment, man. Go ahead. It ain't about no song by woo woo woo. Go That's in the shit. That shit we don't never know cause go ahead. We ain't on the inner circle. But go ahead. Man, that shit really entertainment, man. I said that shit at the end time, man. Right? Oh, yeah, right it, it is entertainment. That's what we've been saying since the beginning of it. That's exactly it what we've be, been saying. It, it, it can't, can't be entertainment man, when a nigga talks for your life circle. about some bullshit. Uh, it can't be entertainment if you got to defend your life. That's not that's not entertainment when it involves your life, bro. You know what happened? Because, get what? So, you telling me. So, you telling me Pookie Loke getting killed? That's a stunt double? Like, he's not dead for real? Like, he really walking around like, like, oh. No, niggas died behind this shit. Just like the 50 cent shit. Niggas in prison, niggas died, niggas got stabbed. Oh, niggas out there on that mission, man. Hulk went out there on his own mission. Yo, bud. Hulk was trying to probably go out there and try to make a big boy. And try to make himself fly a big boy. We don't know how to make it. We don't know. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on. Hold up, man. You know what, man? We can miss the best, man. We missed the best. Hold on, man. 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 Oh, we got off track. We got off track. I thought we were talking about the importance of this situation yes. and what's going on. Yeah. We don't give a fuck about what them niggas had going on early on in that shit. That's none of our business. We knew about it. The fact of the matter is that shit like that very seldomly gets resolved by little broke, dirty motherfucking street street urchin level shit. Mm -hmm. We seen two successful black people yeah. who yeah. came from the same streets that we did mm -hmm. show growth in the people that they are because they didn't have to do that they shit. That's that. all that mattered to me. No money in the world. I don't man. care about nothing else. And that's a die shaker moment, y'all. I don't care shit. about nothing else. That's a die shaker moment, y'all. I don't care. Shit, sometimes that shouldn't be solved can be resolved. Yeah, it can. It can be. Like, it depends on the people involved. And your mind. It's, it's about the people involved. It's, yeah, about the and, mind too. In a bigger picture, mm -hmm. like this is about my soul, nigga. Yeah, definitely about the mind. This about, about my soul, yeah. nigga. This bigger than any music I can make for you. Yeah. That was a soulful situation right there. Mm. Yes. And that shit won. Them niggas won. Yeah, they they won. won, dog. Yeah. They won. And they and, and, they and, feel and, like two of my favorite niggas after that shit. Question. And they question. do a song right now, they gonna question. go off the hook. Dog, question. it's the biggest song ever. Yeah, it's, the biggest song ever. it's the biggest song ever. Question. Can Atlanta have hip hop for another 20 years? We, 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 all, uh, yeah, yeah, is yeah. It, <laughs> we already got it. In the direction that is. That's another 20. I know, yeah. Give me another 20. Yeah. What? Nothing's going to stop it. <laughs> no, nothing. Because for one, they wasn't giving this shit. They took it. Yeah, take Atlanta took they respecting this music shit. Yeah. Atlanta snatched that shit like you're going to respect me. Nobody gave it to them. Yeah. If niggas gave it to them, it'd be optional. Nah, they might not have it. No, they took it and yeah. they keeping it. Definitely. How long they done had it now? Too long. 20. For so long. I said another 20. That's 40. Yeah. Damn near long as it's been around. There you go. Nah, How long hip hop been around? Late seventies, early eighties? Like 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 eight by like eighty, eighty one. I say seventy nine. Seventy seven, seventy seven. No, I'm I'm gonna take real shit. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you about. I'm gonna say seventy. seventy. I'm gonna say seventy. Right, well. Cause niggas were rapping, but you gotta think about the time. Niggas was rapping in the hood, but that shit never get mainstream. I'm that's talking. Why, that's why younger people who was coming up, who was ten years old and seventy. They were 10 years old, 70, and the niggas on the corner, they rapping this shit. So when they turn about 15 years old, so they're like 75, almost to the 80. Yeah. They rapping now. Because they seen the other generation and technology and revolution now change. So they could do that shit. Just like Grandmaster Flag. He sees other people rapping. He ain't know nothing about no rapping until he sees other people in the neighborhood he, rapping. He, 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 he hold on. on TV. You right. It, 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 it was it was, it it was environment. It, it was people rhyming. He saw people rhyming. Yeah, yeah rhyming, rhyming, but rhyming, rhyming, rhyming. I'm talking about when hip hop was established as this is what this shit is. Oh. We rhyming on these type of beats, oh. talking about this kind by of 80, shit. By 85. You know what I mean? By 85. And niggas that had that shit a long time. Since, 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 since L, since L and, um, yeah. and Run DMC. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 the fuck, the, the other group. The yeah, all the Big Daddy K, all them niggas. As a culture. Yeah. yeah. Se late 70, yeah. 79, yeah. 80. 79, 80. 79, 80. Yeah. When the Jerry Curls start fading out yeah. and shit. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. type of shit. When the Afros and shit start fading uh -huh. out and shit changed. Well, yeah. Shit. Google said this shit is August 11, 73. 
Oh, I, I, I said be, 70, didn't I? That, that, I said, yeah, I, I, I that said makes seven. sense to me. I said 70. That makes sense to me. That makes sense to me, too. That I makes go sense that to one. me. About time, Google, right? That makes <laughs> sense. Because mm-hmm. that shit, the, the music expanded from the culture. The culture had already was forming. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, we like to do this shit. It's a momentum. We like to fucking, that's what we like to do. Then the music derived from that of the motherfuckers who like to do what was a part of the culture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, that makes sense, 73. And you guess what? Oh, man. You got to think about how old you think Melly Melly was in 73? Probably like in his, probably a teenager. Late teen. Probably like teen, about 15, yeah. 16. Yeah. So he might already develop like, yeah. and I can do that. I can do what what call them doing. He like, but I can, I can put something. I yeah. Can, I, let me be me on this yeah, shit. Yeah, let me be me. Let me be me, but do, do what, what they're doing. And what let, I see Let me day. be me. And it came out a Beautiful. whole Two. another Two. genre of huh. music. Two. Two. Yeah. Two. Two. Yeah, that's Come shit. on, man. So that was shit hard so, as that. So to ask your question, how long is 73, 73 to 2000? 20. 20. Yeah. Around, what, 50, 53 years? Like 56 that. years, yeah, something like that? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Brother been getting paid since goddamn, since 73 off this music. Mm. But they ain't really getting the money they do. They just been getting paid off of it. Mm. They never I, owned I, I, it. I feel, they never owned it. I never feel like it's it. different now, though. Yeah, a lot of people like a lot of people. I feel like it's different now. With I the feel independent like, movement, it's like how you can. can you you, 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 you had money de- for yourself before you had to depend on the labels and shit. You can generate now money can, for yourself at this point. Yeah, huh? now By yourself, and you don't need nothing but a prepaid card and a hit. Now the labels aren't gonna fuck with you unless you done done it yourself. Yeah, that's how I go now. Yeah. You gotta have that buzz yeah. on, yeah. right? For they even fuck with you, yeah. you can't be no. Nigga, I'm working. I ain't got no buzz. Show That's not YouTube. what they here for. Show me yeah. YouTube page. You got to have a few number hits, you few might, number followers. And at, at that point, you're not even looking for them shit. It's all, like you say, YouTube. Nigga, yeah, I'm doing YouTube. my shit all What your hits look like? What your SoundCloud what's look your, like? What your what, followers look like? What yeah. I'm trying to put that shit on? How many people follow you on Instagram? Oh, you got 100,000 people? Okay, okay. The okay. game changed. Yeah, now yeah. you could have, them niggas walking in there with nothing, with tapes, kicking in doors, like, play this, listen to this, yeah. play this. Yeah. Back in the day. And they like, oh, he got it. Let me put him on. Now you got to be on. Yeah, you got to be. It's a, it's a visual. It's a, it's a whole different game, nigga. What's your YouTube stream like? Oh, you got yeah. well, how many people? Oh, you got a thousand people in, in the last three years? Nah, we ain't signing you. A thousand people in the last three years? Oh, that ain't enough. This ain't enough. That ain't enough, my brother. <laughs> it's, not enough. It's, a it's a different approach. The game is handled a different kind of way. Yeah. Because they're looking for people who who thirsty and got a lot of views and we're ready to got down, get their music away. Well, check. And that comes with the nah. work. It's really just the work. Like, yeah. if it, it, it takes a little bit of work to get your followers up and your streams up. It takes yeah. a little bit of effort. Just the effort put in. Like, some niggas luck up and, you know what I mean, boom. But some motherfuckers really put effort into growing it on a, on a day-by-day basis. I'm growing into here. I'm growing it. I'm trying to grow this shit. And well, you got to get to a certain level. You got to have a certain level of growth before you're going to be able to, you know, be in that, that that major label situation. Like, it's different now, the approach. Hey, and that's why everybody should subscribe to Dice Shakers. Dice Shakers. We taking the stairs, nigga. <laughs> taking them stairs, nigga. Like, subscribe. It's on YouTube. we working. Go ahead. We what, working. What's all on, bro? Come on, say it. Let me see. What we on? Apple Podcasts, Google Play, mm-hmm. Spotify, mm-hmm. Amazon Music. Mm-hmm. Um, YouTube. YouTube. That was pretty much the main. And it's out there too, because I Google it sometimes. It be on all, all kinds of yeah. podcasts. It's, once it's out there, it's out there. Yeah, it's, all, it's on all podcasts. It's podcast. out there. So wherever you listen to podcasts, you can listen to this. Like, shit. subscribe. Hey, do what Tune you got in. Do, Tune in. Do what you got to Say do. hey. Fuck Give us questions. Dice Shakers Podcast at gmail.com is the email to reach out. Yes, sir. What you want us to do? Hey, yeah, man, we here for y'all too. Shit. You know what I'm Huh? We like to have guests. This, we this not tripping on no guests. This is a, this is an authentic situation. This is barbershop talk, man. This we, is, we, we, we kicking shit, man. This we is an talk. authentic situation. There's nothing every week fake about this shit. Yeah. It's really, like, it's really not. It's so real. I'm every smoking week. a cigarette right now. Mm-hmm. That's not really. I'm smoking a cigarette. You want this shout? Huh? Uh, you want shout? Uh, shouts to Gucci, man. Shouts to Jeezy. Yeah, appreciate that appreciate historic it. moment. That was not only a moment in music moment and culture history, that was a moment in black history. Yes, black. Yeah. Hey, 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 go that goes down in black history. Or November uh, 19th? Uh, 19th. 
November 19th. I know, I know. Gucci, 19, man. 2020. You know, man. 19, 2020. That's gonna be documented. 20, you know, Gucci, man, and Jesus. Just for the look. Be. Just for the look at it. You look of it. Like, so, hey, man. so, question. All okay. right. Okay. Preach. We ain't gonna get out these four yet. Did, okay. y'all, did you like the album? For Recession 2? Yeah. I ain't even listen to it. Oh, you ain't even listen to it yet. Young boy, he don't like that shit. Young boy said that shit garbage. I, I don't like time, it though. I, don't I ain't gonna play that. that this is a grown man rap. Yeah, but the thing about it, all the time, I really listen to Gucci, man. It when I'm in the club. Not I Gucci. hear music always in the club. Jeezy or Gucci? You know, Jeezy. I mean, all Gucci. I don't hear goddamn Jeezy songs in the club at Central Station. Oh, hell no, you're not. Yeah, yeah but, but yeah. no. No, I'm not. I call him. And it, and it, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna hear Jeezy in the club you, right now. But why though? Certain songs, but like, not it, more than if, Gucci. If you had it's a different time, it's a different it's time. A different energy if you yeah, of the out. music. It's yeah, a different it's energy different. of the music. The way Gucci shit is fucking tailored for the club. Yeah. Like it's it's that's what he come from. Yeah, let's go like, back to let's go back to the recession too, fellas. Ain't <laughs> I ain't hear, I ain't hear though. I ain't hear that. You ain't listen to it. I didn't listen to it yet, bro. I did smell it, bro. I did smell it, bro. You listen to it? Yeah. How you feel about it? It's cool, man. You don't like it either? I that's said it. it's cool. I that's said it. like it. That album on Sheik Luke album. Ah, uh, nah, shit, I shit. fuck with Sheik. Sheik last album hard while you talking crazy. <laughs> I just listen to Sheik shit. Sheik got a new one and that shit bang. Sheik that nigga, hold on. You got to listen first, Joey. You can't just be throwing that out there. You got to listen, boy. She, 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 <laughs> I, like, but I've always liked Jeezy. I've always liked Gucci, but I think I've liked Gucci more. I ain't talking about Gucci, bro. Man, Gucci, that, that I know. Gucci song. You talking about the club. recession? I told you it's cool. You they ain't gonna play recession too in the, in the club. What else you want me to say? <laughs> what song on recession two they gonna play? I wait. They gonna they gonna play it because it's Jeezy. What club though? What club are we going to? They gonna play the Mexican. Certain club, certain spots. You know what I'm saying? The shit we got it. They gonna play that. Certain spots. And what club? Best stop playing, bro. In, in the Central compound. Station? No, Central Station. They'll play shit we got. You turn. And they gonna play God. They gonna be we got down. You talking? Hey, we need, we need. Let's not talk for. like Jeezy don't get played in the club because that's completely it, false. It definitely yeah. don't. That's false, but yeah. Gucci, I don't hear that shit in the club. But you can possibly hear more Gucci for that feeling when the party goes up, and that feeling Gucci music. His music is tailored a little more. They play Jesus in strip club. Moment. They play Jesus in strip club. Tell me how we get back hey, in this shit, y'all. They play Jesus in strip club. Because niggas say that. I was talking about recessions, y'all. I ain't saying that. I'm just telling you, they, they play Jesus in the song in the strip club. Y'all said y'all ain't like it, y'all. I ain't I heard it. it. Cool. I, ain't, I ain't heard it yet. I ain't heard it. I said it was cool. It's, I ain't heard you, it. Yet. It's your fault, nigga. Yeah, yeah. They play Jesus music in the strip club, which is cool. Because niggas spending more money in it. I ain't going to say more money in the red club because you go to the station, everybody spending money. Everybody getting bottled. Everybody getting cheap dollar drink, three dollars, five dollars drink. It's a hundred nigga getting five dollars drink at one time. So <laughs> it's a dub to get in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey man, it's a dub to get in. You know, they go strip club. You got there after they got there after after they got there ten o'clock. Drink ten dollars a shot, eleven dollars. You know what I mean? What you drinking? You know what I mean? I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you like this, but they, I'm, I'm not. You know what song they do play in the club of Jesus? Is they got down. The best time of my life. On way to uh, under the bill. She get club. Uh, get Jesus get club play. That's, that's all I do here. I work around sign name on it. Down man down there on it. That's the only song, but all those songs. Uh, what is that? Uh, well, got- you know the women, you know me in your kitchen. Well, Gucci man, that Gucci man. They play a lot of Gucci it's man more, songs. It's gonna be more Gucci. It's gonna be more Gucci man. And the club it, we it go could, to. It Jesus, could be. Jesus started his strip club though. Bob won't start in the yeah, trick club, started but Jesus started on a different level. A couple nights ago, you gotta think about Jesus started on a different level. Jesus started in Magic City, bro. Like Gucci Man probably started to play. He, he had, had the world. The Fox and Ladies. He started coming up. Yeah, you gotta think about it. Like Gucci <laughs> Man. Like, <laughs> Jesus, all in Magic City with the big dog, bro. Don't niggas <laughs> spending hundreds of thousands of well, dollars. Well, the BMF was Gucci saying Gucci had that look. You gotta think about Gucci. Gucci had that look. Gucci Man type of nigga goes to the club, probably spend about five, ten rent versus Jesus spending goddamn a whole ticket in that bit. Like I could have bought a Range Rover. 
I could have bought a Range Rover. <laughs> hell, hell of a look. Hell, hell of a look for the city. For the world. For the world. World. For the world, Craig. See, you gotta think about world. they. You gotta think about two different type of rap. Jesus on a on a plug type of rap. Gucci man on a street level type of rap. The niggas that we know, I don't know too many niggas like Jesus. How Jesus doing? <laughs> how Jesus rap? I don't know all too that many. Boss, like all that boss talk. Hey, boss. Oh, you boss talk. Hey man, I got, I got you. forty for the pick slam, motherfucker. I'm <laughs> owe you ten on the back end. Those type of niggas we know. We don't know it ain't too many niggas like, hey, but I just know a whole bunch of G's, nigga. Yeah, and this ain't that. I don't know, <laughs> nigga. I don't know five <laughs> niggas on my hand that can count the real money for a whole five days, for five whole days straight. I can't. Hey, my partner, see, my partner just called. He said, hey, boy, it took me five whole days to count the real money. They let me get some. Fuck, oh, nigga, it took you five whole days to count the real money. Man, you better give me some. How much you want? They, they, they give me a little thousand. Well, I, I know it took you five days to count that shit. I ain't even trying to be picky. They give me a little thousand. Let me do me. Cause that's a lot. Gucci man ain't never had nothing in his song. Take it to my some. I, it took me five whole days to count the real money. Gucci ain't got no song like that. Gucci like nigga, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a finesse these niggas. Hey. Out these hundreds of pounds. And look, and we gonna serve my man a fifty hey. slab. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm just, it's a different rap. Hey, Gucci had a gangster mid for a hit and mid. Come on, man. Bobby, huh? Come on, man. That was him. He had mid, bro. Hit and mid, but hit and mid. Jesus rapping. Jesus ain't. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus getting that shit from El Plaza. You know what I'm saying? Hit and mid, but come on. You gotta think about it for real, man. How Gucci and Jeezy rap? Jeezy's like a kingpin. Versus how Gucci rap, bro. Yeah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Five whole day to count the real money. Gucci ain't never had a song talking about he had to count five whole day. It take Gucci man about an hour, two hours count the real money. Then he talking about five whole day versus goddamn two, three hours count about 40, 30,000, 30, 60,000. About an hour. 60,000 count everything about an hour. Yeah. Five whole day, you know how long that is? God damn! I know that's. I that's, wouldn't be in that situation. That's too much. I'm money. still counting. I ain't even slept yet. Yeah. Y'all feel that word? I'm still counting. What you doing? Nigga? Count money. Count money. I hit you back in the hour. Don't do that. I Don't still be counting money. <laughs> I'm definitely. <laughs> I'm I hit you, you tomorrow. Nah. I'm, I'm gonna call you on Sunday. Nah, I'm still gonna be counting it's, money. It's amazing. Yeah, I mean, good you know, for the city. I love it's it. a different level, but that's why I like I like this shit. You know what I mean? But I understand Gucci. It's, it's them. It fits who they are. That's that who they really were. Yeah, it seems like it fits more who they are. arrogant. Gucci was pushing up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it makes sense. I mean. Jesus like, hey, man. We appreciate it all, though. Jesus look like, you hear my song? Way harder than your shit. And he like, so, Gucci like, so what? He I don't care. care. Yeah. <laughs> your song way better than mine. Sell better than mine. I get, well, oh, my masters. I'll get more money than you on the music. You know what I mean? I'm doing independent shit. Be independent. Stay independent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my paper. I'm Gucci. I'm, I'm, I'm my self-promotion. When I flip out, man. guess what? That's a promotion for me. He's so, obviously a wonderful businessman. Definitely. And, and people don't look at that. To be in the game that long and still be in control of his own career. Come on, man. He living the best. Always was in control of his own yeah. shit. Nigga, Gucci legendary. Yeah. Take lived. nothing away from Jeezy. Jeezy got it. He got it, too. Jeezy got a bag. He got it, too. Jeezy he did his thing. Bag. He did it. He had a run. Think about think about the days when Gucci Man was getting like Faith 500 show versus Gucci versus Jesus getting down there eighty sixty thousand show for goddamn <laughs> like red paint. He's up in the bottom. Gucci like, like man, oh my shit way gangster than that. Different, yeah, 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 different like, routes. Like Gucci like my shit way gangster than that red paint inside peanut butter name. Different routes. They <laughs> had different. They had completely <laughs> different routes. You can't even really. Yeah. Compare their their interests into the music game. They came in it, at the same time. Man, Gucci too. Man, it's, and, and it's so different the 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 way it happened for both of them. And Gucci like, Man look like shit. I'm hanging out with Shaw Love. I'm hanging out with some real authentic street niggas, man. You hanging out with who? Oh, you hanging out with some full famous ass rappers. Man. You What's hanging it? out with famous rappers. I'm hanging out with real Shaw Love. You know what I'm saying? I don't like Till. He don't like Till. So hey, I'm fucking with him. He a real nigga like me. You know what I mean? I respect Gucci for that, bro. Respect Gucci, but Gucci a real thug that a nigga, and nigga get him twisted like I'm just trying to ride Gucci way. I'm just saying, yeah. it's the energy Gucci brought to the, the whole table, bro. Like, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas yeah. not going to treat us like we just start fucking with Gucci because exactly. of this versus shit. Exactly, We're not going to do yeah, that. You know what I'm Niggas, like, we been like, fucking with Gucci, been nigga. Fucking with Gucci, bro. <laughs> a lot of motherfuckers letting this versus alter their opinions on yeah. him. Like, oh, he, I do like him. Nah, on, we, we been fucking with, with, with him, him nigga. Right. <laughs> been fucking with club, Gucci. We hear Gucci more than T.I. <laughs> yeah. You going to hear Gucci more than T.I.? Yeah. The fuck? Yeah. Straight up. You going to hear Gucci? 
Future. Yeah. Nah, I don't go Future. Shit, not no more. Future in all the clubs, sir. I'm talking about in the club. I'm talking about in the club. I'm talking about in the club. Oh, yeah, club. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. Future is in the club. Like, you hear Future song in the club you're all the time. You're not going to not hear Future in the exactly. club. Exactly. Any club, any club, like you can break that. It's different yeah. types of clubs. Exactly. It's some kind of, you know, some clubs you get, you getting all that, you getting all track, yeah. you getting off one certain genre. There's some flyer yeah. clubs a little, clubs genres. a little flyer that um, that's that's playing a little more everything, a little more diverse. They yeah. might use some R and B and shit in there. Yeah. You're gonna hear future in any club yeah. that there is. Yeah. Period. Any type of club, you're gonna hear future. Yeah, on it, all it, levels, it, compound. Where any level of club. Any level of club. Cause he got yeah. so many. Like what? Do I say? That's why they ain't in my challenge university yet? Cause he got so many types of <laughs> like, like, like hits and shit. He gonna go get somebody like really like, Crazy. like Drake. He gotta go get thing like Drake. Future and Drake. Oh, that's a hard one. That's a good one. That's a hard one. You know what I mean? I want to see. I want to see me, me go get somebody too. Nah, who me? Me, that nigga, me, man. That nigga. Yeah, me, but you, it got, see, it has to be in the same. Yeah. yeah. It has to be in the same way. Yeah. yeah. Sean, Big Sean. Something like that. Something like you that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You on the right, yeah, yeah you, you on the right path. Something like that, bro. Yeah. You on the right path, but, but, but they, they still, they might still have a little more work to put into. Yeah. Like, give it a little more time, you know, yeah. but they could do it now, but it won't feel the same, but, but I mean, I don't know this 20, shit here can go. I don't know 20 Big Sean song. Like versus like Jeezy and Gucci. I don't know. We ain't talking about that though. I'm just, I know. That, that I'm just talking about. Yeah, example wise. Yeah, example wise. I'm just. Yeah, 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 but, when, you, when, when you hear Big Sean shit, you're going to be like, that. you going to know it. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. I like that shit. You're going to know it and you're going to love it. Yeah, either way. Either way it go. Like, it don't even matter. But yeah, shout out to Versus. But though, man, man shout out to that music shit. Hey, I'm Versus though, but I'll put our podcast shit all up in that motherfucker. I flooded that motherfucker time like when I podcast. I probably did shit about two hundred times. Nice shake, nice shake, nice shake. Nice shake on all platforms. Nice shake on all platforms. Nice shake, 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 nice shake
Julio <laughs> played one series. <laughs> one series. He played one. The first series he played. Then after that, it was like, oh, what the fuck? It, what? Ooh, ooh. He hurt. He, Why come out, Julio? If you fucked up, stay fucked up. Come on, stay out. Stay out and then let Calvin eat the whole day. Exactly. Calvin you, dropping ball. You coming out? You coming out here looking like Arthur Blanks and shit every now and then on the field. Calvin dropping ball. Uh, Everybody, we didn't do shit. <laughs> terrible, today. Blank, terrible display of football. It's the Arthur Blank vibe for me. It's the Arthur Blank vibe for me. The defense starting the fourth, fifth, fourth, a couple you know, times. A, couple, a few times. They were like, had, all right. They had nothing for them. Falcons had nothing coming into this game. Nothing. They had nothing. They had no game plan. <laughs> they didn't want to win, seemed like. They, they were like, no what passion. the fuck? They didn't real. realize the that severity of the game. That shit was a real dud. That shit was a real dud. That shit was a real dud. Field goals, <laughs> yeah. field field goals, field goals, field goals made it look not as bad as it was. But the field real, goals. A real dud, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all I got to say about it. I don't know if you know what I mean. It's a, coll- it's a collective. Who we got next? Vegas. Ah right, shit, we got the Raiders. Raiders playing pretty good. Too. Well, we can play them next. Raiders play tonight. Chiefs. Chiefs. And they I, I, already uh, beat them once. They the only loss. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, Let's see what they got for them. Raiders ain't all that good. They just got Chiefs job bad. That's a, du- yeah. that's a division hope, game. They hope, treated it like a division game. They definitely did. And took care of business, no yeah. matter what their record was or who yeah. they were playing. <laughs> they weren't scared of them niggas. That's <laughs> what we supposed to do today. That's what we supposed to do today, man. That's what we supposed to do. Let me go ahead and go to y'all, man. Let me get off me, man. Let me get off them Falcons. Hold on, can I say something about y'all real quick before I get to I fucking thrash mm. that purple? I agree. Offensive line play is subpar. Um, play calling is subpar. And um, a guy who's been, who, who gets taken up for a lot. But Matt Ryan, is he plays subpar. He played today, especially today. When... A few, fuck all the future on the famous shit. Fuck all that. A solid quarterback will be able to play well, even in a loss. Cause there's some there are a lot of trash teams with decent quarterbacks that play pretty well, but they can't do it all on their own. Right, well. But the the, the 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 adjustments that Matt Ryan don't make, they you see that shit like. This, it's small things, like it's small things. It's nothing. It, it he should be better than he's playing. Period. Bottom line. I saw at one point in the second half that we was negative two yards mm-hmm. for the whole half. Four yards. Four yards. That was all, that was like middle of the third quarter or something, right? Yeah, that shit was crazy. That shit, was crazy. That shit blows. That's the fuck what was. Out of me, that's bro. what was going on today. That blows the fuck out of me, bro. That yeah. means what are you here nothing for? Nothing. What y'all here for? Happened today. Offense was not there mentally at all. What y'all do all week? All right. Two weeks. Two, yeah, weeks. two weeks off the bye week. What y'all been doing? Like that shit was crazy. Y'all didn't. Party. Y'all didn't. See, see. I think a lot of these offensive coordinators and shit, and these motherfuckers in charge of creating plays and playing, they got shit fucked up. They think you find something that works. And you stick with that shit and beat it to the eat. ground. Fuck no. Yeah, that yeah, shit changes shit every fucking week. Yeah, every you should week. have fucking three new plays in your playbook, nigga. From the same play. No. The, according, yeah. and it helps according to the team that you're playing. You can base it off of that. Mm-hmm. Get your film on, watch your film and all that shit. And you, are, you have to create newness every single week. It got to be, we working on this shit today. This is all new. We got to get this. They think you find what's wor- what's working and you just going. banging into the ground. Yeah, that ain't fucking that's, football. That's why they overpaid in their trash. And I want them Ravens to find new positions in that. Same way. That's same way. That's same way, way too. Go ahead, say it, man. Get off your chair, bro. Get it off your chair. We fucking l- <laughs> lose games. We're in control of the entire time. Shoot ourselves in the foot more than anybody has beaten us. We've beaten ourselves more than anybody has beaten us. Just fucking up and sloppy. All this crud going on. <laughs> and I don't put it completely on my players. Because I feel majority of my players are out there playing hard and playing to win, trying uh-huh. to get the job done. But the coaches, they're putting them in a bad position. But the coaches... Don't know who they have as players, therefore their game plan 
is general. They think it should work for everybody. Fuck that. That game plan is trash. Where your game plan at for your soldiers that you got right here? Don't you see who you have? Don't you see what they're good at? Mm -hmm. Don't you see what y'all have worked on? At least, you, at least you got it, Coach. I got an intro. Uh, I'm sorry not to go back to my team. I'm sorry. And, and, and y'all got a winning record. It's no. <laughs> your and a winning record. Your situation ain't no worse because you ain't coming off no 14-2 and two fucking season where you should have won the Super Bowl last year. And expectations were raised after that like they're automatic going, automatically going to be for any certain team. And then you come in here on some slop shit. Like, it's different. Who's worse? Y'all niggas were fighting last year for y'all wins. Y'all got y'all fighting this year. Yeah. Nigga, we ran through the league last year. Yeah, 14 and 10. Came back on some shit like, I, I knew it wasn't going to be repeated, but fuck the record. It's the product on the field. It's the play on the field that you're not going to win playing like this, period. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's going to win playing like y'all play. So, you can take it. That it's, you know, because a team got a l losing record, that they're worse than another team. That ain't the case. Yeah. That ain't the case. Like, we have players on our team, some young, some veterans. Y'all have better defense than we do. That are all capable of being dominant on a more consistent basis. Yeah. And it only shows in spurts because, like, we get shit get comfortable Shit get a little too get a, get a little too just 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 arrogant. I see a lot of arrogance mm -hmm. in at times when it's like, yeah, that's cool. I like the attitude, but you're not even doing what it takes to consistently get first downs when it's third and so and so mm -hmm. and small shit like that. But you want around you want around. Fucking when you winning, you dancing and throwing it in motherfucking yeah. face and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying that's lose. cool. Yeah. But when you lose and you walk around with your head down, lost, like bro. where the balance at, nigga? You still, I still want you to play like that team that was winning yeah. and still had that same energy. Yeah, Fuck yeah. it, because I don't believe it's on the players. Yeah. It's not on the players, my nigga. Hey, that's any bad team in the goddamn NFL, bro. And we're a bad team. Y'all almost a bad team. We the worst team. <laughs> I I can't Shit. say I don't want to say we're oh, a bad man. team. We're the worst team. Because, because come on, man, y'all gotta get together. We we've never played to our full potential. Even going fourteen to two last year, yeah. we we never played to our full potential. When we had them big ass games and shit, them forty point games of Lamar five touchdown games, mm. defense want to come with the slack. Like we like as far as an all around game, yeah. that's not it's not consistent enough. So yeah, had an all game. yeah like you gotta get them three and out. Like well, I ain't gonna say we a bad team. We just got bad leadership. Like I've been saying, keep saying. Uh, my phone wanna fireball, hardball, hardball. You better watch yourself. Hardball, mm -hmm. go. <laughs> really just hardball and Greg Roman. <laughs> really just them two. My man beating the drum on y'all. Like. I like my GM. I like my defensive coordinator. I like my position coaches. Y'all don't hit on everything. And just the coaching. They ain't hit on receivers. We yet. we draft very well. Yeah, receivers. My man said that other. He, yeah. he, he, they ain't hit on receivers we, yet. We ain't found a number one receiver yet. Like, Marquise Brown is a. I love Marquise Brown. He's all the time. But he's he's not a number one receiver right now. And, and it gets certain things. It, yeah. It's Sneed. Sneed is definitely our number one. He's our yeah. best receiver at this point. Yeah. Like, and I'm not mad at that. That's why we keep giving them extensions. He's good for the team. He, yeah. he, he, he a good football player. He's a good leader. Yeah, he's a good football player. He's good on the field. He does the he does the small things that it takes to, you know, help get down the field. Yeah. But we have rookies that we drafted two wide receivers. That's why this wide receiver shit with the Ravens is so crazy to me. Mm -hmm. We drafted three wide receivers in the last two years. For impact, mm -hmm. the two our two rookies on our team right now: Devin Duvernay, mm -hmm. Kyler Murray's cousin, and James Prochet. Their expert level of expertise consistent consisted of not dropping the ball. Yeah. They caught every. Both of them have their receptions are so high in college 
they don't drop the ball. Yeah. And we have a big problem of motherfuckers dropping the ball. But we don't play these two that we drafted who can absolutely cater to that issue that we're having right now. We don't even give them a chance because for some reason we don't like to play Rick. We only play rookies and our young guys when it's injuries or desperate situations and shit like that. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you don't know what you're doing. They don't know what they're doing. We have, we sitting on diamonds, nigga. And sometimes that, that destroys the NFL uh, player career. Yeah. Oh, um, because he didn't get a look. Like, you drafted me for a reason. My nigga, you could have let me test the free agent, the undrafted free agency. I might get assigned to a team that really would have used me. Yeah, yeah, who and, 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 and we could have got something done. Like, just use your youth. Like, you, even if they're not getting 100 snaps a game, you got to get them on the field because that's the only way they're going to learn what that game feel like. Uh, they can't feel, they don't learn it in practice yeah. and they don't learn on the sideline watching it. Yeah, they got to be in that game. Yeah. Give them some time. Let them know, like, this is what it feel like. Yeah. Let's see what you got. That's in, that's in any aspect in life. The youth is always going to win. Yeah. But in you know I mean? any, any industry. And any, re- any industry. And relating just to what you said. Yeah. Any industry. The youth is always going to be like, shit, they on your ass. Yeah. And, and Involved, add on though. to what you saying. You got the old heads. It's like these young niggas, these fuck these young niggas, these young niggas like, got them. And yeah. you got the niggas like, yo, young nigga, let me, I, I support the young niggas. Yeah. I know it's hard for them. Yeah, I know I what they're going through. Nigga. I used to be young. It's two different levels. And I got the coaches like, oh, these young niggas. Them, I feel yeah. the niggas I got. Yeah. These young niggas, they got to learn. You got to learn. On, you got It take time. And some people learn fast, my nigga. So. <laughs> Life ain't slow. Transition. Mm-hmm. It's a transition. Okay. Oh. All right, five, eight. Nah, mate. You got a running mate. You got a running mate. Six, eight running mate. Look. The NBA draft. Uh-huh. Should, should we let these young boys play? Yeah. Is, is the old guard almost over with? Who's the old guard for you coming up for this, 20, twi- right this 2021? Who's the old guard? Like, I'm just talking about of the upper echelon. Who's about to be Where the line cast is. out? Who's, who's about to be cast out? I don't. LeBron still gonna go. KD still gonna go. Kyrie. Kyrie still gonna go. Yeah, I Russell. He's the new. Russell's the new. And he's the new. And and just the really. He's the new though. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, Wesley Matthews about to be pushed out in one second. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rondo about to be pushed out. The guy we got, Gallinari, both of them. <laughs> they got Gallinari and Chet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he about to be pushed out too, shit. Yeah. He, he's still going to play. But but they still have a purpose yeah. in the NBA. Yeah. Imagine D'Angelo Russell with a he about to be with a out. solid veteran point guard on the team. One of them niggas you say about to be pushed out mm-hmm. that's willing to show him show him a little something. And just really just build with him. Yeah. Just, and imagine the player D'Angelo Russell could possibly be. Well, he, he going he, he, he to have it. Him and Edwards mm. should work out, bro. Yeah. That shit work, bro. Get the chemistry. They get some chemistry, bro. That shit work. Because the talent ain't an issue. Hell yeah. no. Nah. Talent is they not got, an issue. And they got the cat, bro. <laughs> yeah, they got talent. And they got the cat. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's three for real. A old cat the old guy. Mm-hmm. And he's, what, 26? Yep. Yep. Cat, cat, what's it? Cat ain't old, man. He just came in real. He came in dumb early. One year. Oh, yeah, yeah. One year. Yeah. So, talent is not the issue when it comes to professional level at all. Yeah. Nigga, we be saying trash. We talking yeah. shit and not. They go that bullshit for fifty. Yeah. yeah. In any sport, we we talking from a spectator standpoint. Yeah, oh, yeah. you got the ball. You trash. Especially when you talking about that basketball though. That yeah. Hit, especially that, basketball. That shit hit different for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It hit yeah. different. Yeah, because the worst that. nigga in the NBA is the best nigga outside of the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it takes something to get there. <laughs> you ain't there for no fucking reason. Like, and That's back awesome. to the draft, like. LaMelo went through. Ed Elvis went one. Wiseman went two to the Warriors. But Clay's out. 
That That's fucks crazy. up that whole dynamic of that shit. That's crazy. Like they they might have came off better with Ed Elvis this year, but Minnesota. But, like, they, they said they had him on the board. They said they had go. They said they had Wiseman on the board. That's top pick. Anyway, regardless, regardless of anything happening. So I get it, but I'm saying if the way it happened, if Minnesota would have took Wiseman number one, they would have been off better with. Man, they had like an hour before that shit, like two yeah. hours. I say two hours before, you know what I mean? Uh, the drive was coming on. It's like, oh, Clay Thompson is lower leg injury. Like, what? That shit came out. I'm going to see. That's the like, season that. I'm going to trade his ass. I mean, and he should have been came to a line. I told y'all, nigga, that long time ago. Look up the podcast. I don't know which one it was. Uh, Clay, Clay to the A. Clay to the A, homie. Clay to yeah, the A. Wiseman is a good pick for the Warriors, though. Yeah, he's, they going to play. He's a different element. He's going he to bring a right? different element. Yeah. He's going to bring a different element to them. Um, the Melo went three over there, out there with Mike. Yeah. Um, oh. That's it, a good it, look. Him is, who, who, uh, who they put? They brought somebody in, though. Uh, uh, Gordon Hayward. They brought Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward. Oh, yeah. They brought him back. You know, he was there, what, 2014? Terry. Scary Terry. They, yeah, they, they, they got a uh, couple of, eight Bridges, the young boy, Miles Bridges, eight yeah. Bridges out there. They got a, they, they, it's a process for them. Like, yeah, a long process. That, I hope LaMelo could be a good start, though. Like, star, it's star powerful. One, once he, I hope he plays at the he, level that he's, he's been wrong, playing he's on. He's grown man out here. Yeah. It's star yeah. powerful, like, though. I think three niggas gonna check you and box you around, boy. He, he, he can ball, though. But he not, one thing I say, he not scared. Yeah. He not he not scared to play against. Six, he can ball. He not he not scared I'll to play against them. He got six seven. He not he got, he got game. He not scared. And he, got he not game. scared. So. He, he 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 you know he passes the ball and, and certain things that really make him stand out. Mm -hmm. Like so, if he get out there and can do that, like mm -hmm. I ain't got nobody threatening his playing time on the floor. He want to go out there and ball, nigga. It's his job, nigga. Whatever position he play. It's his, nigga, if he go out there and ball. He got a certain kind of skill set to where he can bring this, some difference to their team. The crazy thing about right. it is the season coming up real quick. Yeah, yeah we December a month away. December 22. What's today's date? 22, nigga. We a month Whoa. away. A month away. All right. Hawks. <laughs> Pick the boy. Double O. <laughs> I'm going to call him because he got a crazy name. I got a lot. But he what? played with the Ball Brothers and Keno Hills. Oh. Yeah. Boy from USC, center from USC, double O. Oh, 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 I can't. I, I, I can't. Even, I can off. say it if I'm looking at it. If you USC, if I'm looking at it, I can say it. But <laughs> double O, oh oh, this is his name. Oh oh, but um, my nigga, oh oh, he he he's he's a good player. He's a dog actually, mm -hmm. and um, he um. News came out that he suffered from a fractured toe, but they don't seem to really be worried about that yeah, shit. Yeah, so maybe it's something he's just healing from, or mm -hmm. you know, and because uh, the toe can heal pretty quick too. So yeah. um, hey, it could be a good pickup for him, man. Mm -hmm. Like, and on top of the free agent signings that they've had, mm -hmm. to me, Hawks look like a playoff team. I'm thinking maybe seventh and. Seven seed, maybe like maybe get a few wins, get that six. Like, who mm. knows? They but the moves they made and the teams that they already are because they're a decent team and that they just got that you know that youth. But the youth is going to show you promise. Like, even in losses and shit, you looking like they losing, but them, them young boys are they playing hard, mm -hmm. they playing with each other, they, they got a good thing going. It's Cam Reddish, yeah. Uh, Cam, hmm. could, it, it could hmm. be, <laughs> okay. could be, Reddish, yeah. like, let me see. Boy, you a hating that nigga. Uh -huh. I see that. I hear, I hear, I hear that shit. Boy, I hear zero, that. Zero, zero. I hear it in the voice. That's the nigga coming off a championship, man. I don't listen uh, to this. Zero, zero, zero. He coming off a championship, man. Don't zero, let him get to you. Zero, 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 <laughs> zero, one, one. I hear that nigga. Boy, I hear that nigga. I hear that nigga. I hear that nigga. I hear that nigga. See what Kobe White doing over there in the Chicago Bulls? See what Kobe White doing? Hey, shit. Starting. So? <laughs> Giving you 15 points a night. Bucket. Versus Karen Reddy, like 6'9", 7'1". <laughs> Can't do a damn bitch They better ass record in the hall. Chicago, Karen, fire it up. They definitely, then they picked the Hawks in this game. Who they picked? Who, 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 who the uh, Chicago get? Um, Chicago picked up... Uh, I, I read a hat, got that. Uh, they picked up... Uh, Nobody. Sorry. No, they got somebody. I can't, I can't think of who it is. Uh, look it up. 
But uh, yeah, the Hawks had a good draft, made a good move. Let let me get into them Wizards real quick. Oh, John, Wall coming back. Let me get into all that real quick. We picked up <laughs> the boy Denny Adenia, Ad- Adia, oh, from uh, Israel. Israel. He, he's 19 years old. Played at Maccabi Tel Aviv. You know they're a big deal over there at the Israel League. That's the second. That's the next biggest league after yeah. the NBA. Yeah. The Israeli League. Oh, right. And um, yeah, he been playing. He he was a pro. I think he got a pro at like 12. See, I knew it. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, it. but he he skilled. He all around. He got game. I like the pickup, but it's been shit. And all, all and all, it's all going together. There have been talks of. A trade of John Wall for Russell Westbrook. This shit came out of nowhere. Oh. I just seen this shit. I'm like, uh, Russell Westbrook okay. going to the, the Wizard. And John Wall, I guess he was he felt a certain kind of way about that. And then in the second round of this draft, <laughs> we traded our 53rd pick to OKC, and they picked the boy Cassius Winston from Michigan State, point guard from Michigan State. Okay. He can ball. And I don't know if, how if John Wall kind of feeling the way about all this shit, but he's oh, demanded a trade out of Washington. <laughs> now, that and and I don't know game. how to feel like about that because I always it always come like I always wanted to keep John Wall, but if somebody had to be traded be between Bill and Wall, be, I would think it would be Wall. But yeah. now that this shit actually out there in the air, I feel fucked up about it because John Wall good for the community, like yeah. he's a star player. He's y'all number one player. He's y'all he, fresh player. Bradley Beal really is, though. They just yeah. got John Wall first. Mm-hmm. And, I mean. and his impact was felt first. So you yeah. don't got no loyalty with your man? No. Nope. I do, but I don't think he had no loyalty with us because if we pissed you off, uh-huh. that's cool. But don't demand to be traded because you don't. So it's that business. You got yeah. another point guard coming in his hand. <laughs> and you don't like the week you know, fuck, that we got the market open up. for you. But he, he hadn't he played college, He though. hadn't played in two years. Oh. He hadn't played in two years coming off injury and that contract so crazy. So it's like, I wish it wouldn't have came to that because he might he's not gonna get traded, I don't feel. Mm. Because there ain't no takers really. Yeah. Like cause of the money. Like he get like forty one this year, forty two next year, forty three. Like super max yeah, yeah, contract. He definitely super max player. And I feel crazy. I don't know how to feel about this shit. Like I don't know how to see John Wall not in Washington. <laughs> well, we gonna, we gonna go to the Lakers. <laughs> we'll pick the contract up. Yeah. We'll give him forty million. Who y'all gonna give us for him though? Yeah, David yet. No. Who y'all gonna give us? Y'all ain't got nobody else. I ain't gonna get nobody. Else. LeBron. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> He making more than both of them niggas. <laughs> John Wall make more that contract more than both of them. So you might have to give up one of them and a pick, a second round or something. I'm <laughs> gonna get rid of some some big player. Shit, it could be enough. Get rid of whole bit. You, you got to come with that cash considerations. Mm-hmm. You can you can do that cash in the NBA and luxury tax. Look, yeah, season coming up twenty twenty second. Thirty nine for December. Cream. The week of Christmas. The week of Christmas. And they gonna play a Christmas game too. You yeah, you already know. Here we go. Seventy-two game season. Seventy-two. No more eighty-two. Nah, I did a different this season. Uh, different this season. See how it goes. And they said, and they said somebody uh, uh, extra team can get in the playoffs. So silly shit too. They gonna do a play in. They gonna play, do. Yeah, the play they gonna do. Like, just like they did. Uh, they gonna Bowl. do like n- uh, nine versus ten. Can play in to play the winner of the eighth seed yeah. and whoever they play, they can play them or something like that. But they're mm-hmm. gonna do a play in situation to get another team possibly in there, a team with a losing record. NBA wants money. <laughs> they want the money. They trying to. They trying <laughs> to get it. They gonna get as many games as they can out this joint. Believe that. Well, we trying to take advantage of this shit. Yeah, but mm-hmm. they gotta make up. They they lost a few months of basketball last year. They definitely lost. They lost some billions, money. Yes, sir. That was crazy. But I, I'm, I'm confident in the move the Wizards have made. We picked up a few free agents. We've we re-signed Davis Bertans, which I like. About time. About Five time. year, eighty million. We picked up uh, Robin Lopez. Twin. <laughs> you know he gonna come up there and hit somebody. 
That's right. <laughs> and force. <laughs> and you'll come out there and fuck somebody up. You'll come out here playing. He's going to come out just being full speed. He definitely said, he definitely said one. I believe that. So I like that. I like that. That boy here, dog. He, fight. he be a little out of control and shit sometimes. But he's a dog, man. You hit your ass. So somebody protect the basket, protect the paint, protect the basket. You know it's necessary, yeah. but you know John Wall is a healthy John Wall because I've been looking at his, his tapes and shit. You know he playing ball. You know pick up, game pick up yeah, and he looks good. Like the shot look good. Like he look like he in the best shape of his life, nigga. Like I don't want no turmoil right now at this point because just a couple weeks ago you you was happy to be here. You ain't learned no, you, you said you was a wizard for life, nigga. I heard you. And now, a couple of little moves here and there, a couple of little he, hearsay. Who to say the Rockers and shit even yeah. really is <laughs> trying to change? Yeah. That don't even. That, that, oh, shit. That's, that's like, really funny. And, and to really let that kind of determine the reason why you want to get out. If you just want to change, I'm with that. But don't let a business move determine uh-huh. how you feel yeah. about the game and the team that drafted you number one. And been right, then paid you fucking heavily. We really feeding you that bread, nigga. He ain't paid in two years, my nigga. So we ain't been talking about trading you mm-hmm. until now, <laughs> if that's yeah. the word. So it's like we've been riding with you, but no, I said it. It, it, it could be something else. I don't know, but I'm just what it looks like. I don't want it to be that because John Wall has to be a piece of what we got going forward with the move we done made. Like. With John Wall there, it's a, it's a, it seems like a it's win. A, a healthy John Wall. Yeah. John Wall, I'm stopping when he's unhealthy, though. Yeah. Quick question. <laughs> Lakers and, and Rodney win another one? Mm-hmm. Lakers Ooh. and Rodney, the, the Lakers. If Rodney James Harden doesn't end up in Brooklyn like they're rumored to be going on, Lakers can get the trophy tomorrow if you want to uh, give it to them. Tomorrow. They done picked up Montrezl Harrell. Wesley Matthews and Dennis Schroeder, and they only losing Rondo and Danny Green. And Caldwell Pope came back, too. And they mm. only lost Rondo and Danny Green. Wow. They just, they just got my man Danny Green like that. They just got better. <laughs> wow. They, they still can rank, rank out there. Deion Waiters and uh, J.R. Smith all the bit, too, huh? If they want to, call them up. Damn, why well, they finally got another ring. <laughs> oh shit! James crazy. Harden it better end up in Brooklyn because they can they can take the Lakers down with oh, a healthy the Harden, Lakers. Kyrie, and KD. Yeah, they can beat them Lakers. What they, they got? They yeah. probably the only team that can do it. Could they have a couple people? But <laughs> That's the only team that don't get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> KD not going nowhere. Cause he opted out, right? But it is to, opt, a, to get more money on yeah, the come on, bro. yeah. Just spread, just spread money. He's not going to another team. He's not going to another team at all. It's just I'm, spread the money. I'm riding this shit out. Yeah, everybody yeah. else, bro. Spread money. I don't yeah. need to take no big ass money for that. LeBron's now. not slowing down. He's definitely not slowing oh, down. Oh, LeBron, Le'Veon, man, King, the King. This is crazy, man. Who the last nigga win one with three different teams? No one. <laughs> he the only one? Is he the first or the first or the only first? What, what, what's that name there too? Milwaukee and uh, the Lakers. Kareem? Kareem and uh, three different teams I'm talking about. Yeah, that, I don't know what I'm saying. That's two. <laughs> that's two. <laughs> I don't know about two. three. It's true. Robert Hood might did that shit. Robert Hood did. What Robert Hood? San Antonio, Houston, and the Lakers. Uh-uh. The Lakers, yeah. Yep. Robert Hood did. That's just crazy. Like, <laughs> that's just crazy. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck that. Fucking Lakers, yo. That fuck that got rid of Danny Green, bro. He'll talk here, man. I got me fucked up. Sorry, man. That, that boy got cut like three times. He, he like 10 times. He, like he got three rings. He, he went to three teams in three days. Like, he got three rings, too, though. Three yeah, different teams. He got three rings like LeBron. San Antonio. Uh huh. I'm LeBron guy. Toronto with the Lakers. He got three different rings. LeBron got four. Three, three different teams. LeBron got four total. Oh, Danny Green. LeBron got LeBron three. Got three. And he got a smaller name. <laughs> mm. That should tell you something. 
<laughs> Come to North Carolina. You're lucky, nigga. You're lucky. You're a lucky nigga. You're a lucky nigga. <laughs> You're definitely a lucky nigga. <laughs> you got a good agent. <laughs> he can get you on the winner. Trey. That shit crazy. <sighs> It's a sad day for Rough football. day in football, but yeah, everything yeah, else seemed pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I love I'm y'all. Drunk. I love y'all. I love you love, too. Love, baby. I'm chilling out. So I love, out man. Five. We had a good time today. I'm chill out five for mm-hmm. real. I ain't gonna play. Yeah, right, we out. had a good time, man. Another week. Gucci and Jeezy fucking lost <laughs> <laughs> it. They started the week off. All straight, nigga, dog. Look, I'm with that. That made me feel better about shit. So I, I appreciated that for what it was. Yeah. Um, it was monumental. We black. Black. How black? Blacker than black. How black are we? And um, we wouldn't be any other way if we had a choice. Nope. And I want everybody that looks in the mirror and see that beautiful black face staring back at you to thank yourself mm-hmm. and thank God for being black. You that way for a reason. Yes, sir. Tell them. That means you really have purpose. Yes. You really mean something. <sighs> you really got what it takes. Yes. You built the win. Tell it, tell Losing it. has never been attached to black. Tell it, tell Even when they tried to make us lose, we didn't lose. We mm-hmm. went. <laughs> we went. I won. Black people, we winning. Don't let mm-hmm. nobody tell you otherwise. We'll get our shit together when we when the time is right. It's family business, like I say all mm-hmm. the time. Family. Don't worry about what we do. It's family, family time. business. It's family business. Vince Uno Madness, Boogie Brad, yeah. Funny Man Joey. But you know what the fuck going on? Apple, Google Play, mm-hmm. Spotify. Yes, sir. Amazon Music. Uh huh. YouTube. Yes, sir. Subscribe. Like. Subscribe and like. Watch. Listen. Tell a friend, tell a friend. We're going to have video coming up in a little while. But we need you to listen. We we at a point now where we going we want to go against the grain. Have you listen, listen first? Listen first. Before you see what the fuck going on. Are Hello. You listening. I like that. Cause motherfuckers believe what they see all the time, and mm-hmm. we cannot believe what we see out here. Yes, sir. And on the halftime, what you hear? And when you hear it, just know you heard it. Mm. It's the truth. It's emotional. Dice Shakers Podcast. Run your race.